This is my daughter's initials and her date, her date of birth. And this is my wife's initials with our marriage, our marriage date, uh, our wedding date on it. And on the back, they both say family first. Kind of a reminder, you know, keep them on me. This is my daughter, Kelly. Gabrielle Augustine, she's my first daughter, my first child, and uh, you know, she's the best thing ever happened to me. She changed my life. Um, she made me feel like a man, and you know, I do everything now because of her and my wife and my family. Yeah, in the past, I mean, it was, it was pretty much all about me. I was able to do, you know, whatever I felt like doing. Uh, you know, I worked hard because I wanted to be good in basketball, but, but now I do it because of her, because of her future, and uh, I just want to give her the best and make her happy and make her proud. So. You know, she pushes me every day when I go to the gym to practice and, and even on off days when I go to the gym and get shots up, you know, it's because of her and my family and, uh, you know, she just changed my life for the best. I was four years old. That was the first time I ever touched a basketball. Um, I wasn't very good, but, you know, I just loved playing. And, you know, my dad, he never pushed me to play. You know, he always was there to help me and, uh, you know, help me get better. And, uh, I just kept developing, and since four years old is when I started playing basketball. Louisiana, New Orleans is my home, uh, always be my home. Um, you know, growing up, I was a close family guy. You know, my family's always been close. I was a senior in high school, that's when Katrina first hit. Kind of, kind of changed things for us. You know, we had to move away from New Orleans, away from our close knit family, and uh, kind of start over in Houston. And uh, it was tough, tough situation. But you know, God does things for a reason. That's how I feel. And you know, um, He's made us stronger as a family. And then, you know, we're still close like we always been. Uh, it was tough. You know, um, we went through a lot through that situation. Uh, we lost a lot, but at the same time, we we gained our love for each other. And uh, you know, we, we realize how, how life is, you know, life is short, you know, anything can happen. You can have something one day, it could be gone the next. So you gotta cherish every moment. Um, and material things isn't always important. It's about your family and the ones you love. And, uh, you know, that just helped me, made me stronger, you know, going through that as a child and to where I am now, you know, I feel like anything can happen to me and I can get through it. So that that what Katrina did for my life. You know, my first year, I played really good as a rookie. Um, Coach Larry Brown was there. You know, he was tough on me. You know, he's tough on a lot of guys. And uh, second year we made it to the playoffs, which was a different experience. It's the first ever home playoff game for this Charlotte franchise. You know, we had a lot of good guys. Tyson Chandler played for us, Steven Jackson, Gerald Wallace, uh, Raymond Felton. We had a good team. Um, then the next year, kind of broke the team up. And that's when I became a starter. Played really good that year. The most impressive thing over these last two games is the play of DJ Augustine. We'll stay with Augustine, former Texas Longhorn, who will get to the rim, reverse it, and score. My last year there, you know, we, we had the worst record in the NBA. You know, um, we was a young team. It was a lockout season, but, you know, it's no excuses, just experiences that God does, you know, make us stronger. Um, and I felt like I, I became a better player going through that kind of stuff. And now to where I am now, I know what it's like to be on a losing team and being on a winning team with Indiana last year. Oh, and a tough move by Augustine. That was different. Um, you know, just being on a winning team is different. You know, the, the atmosphere, um, the practice, the preparation for everything is different being on a winning team. You, you seem to care more. Uh, you you want to win. And, uh, you know, it's fun being on a winning team. Winning kind of... You know, it raises every, all the problems, you know. So, you know, we went to the Eastern Conference Finals, gave Miami, you know, a tough run. Uh, felt like we, we could have won, but, you know, like I said, everything happened for a reason. And, uh, you know, it, Indiana was a great experience for myself. I love all the, all the guys, you know. We all seem to get along. Um, great group of guys. I think we all want to win. We all know what it's like to win and, you know, to be in losing situations in the past. and. Uh, I think we, we have a pretty, really good team. Um, not gonna make any promises, but I think we should make the playoffs. And, and you know, when you, once you get in the playoffs, anything can happen. Different, different experience every year. 
You know, the, the whole thing about being in the NBA is you, you want to stay, stay as long as you can. It doesn't matter what, what team you, you're on or what the situation is, but I think the biggest thing is finding a team that fits your, your style of play and the best opportunity for you. And I think that's going to be here in Toronto, and uh, hopefully I'm here for a long time. You know, we love it so far, my family, my wife, we all love it. Uh, we're trying to get used to the traffic, but uh, I think it'll get better, and uh, you know, I love it here.